Hello and welcome to this preview of Myriad's Renaissance, which is a 4X Lite or Lite 4X game, meaning that's a type of game like Civilization or Master of Orion, where you have to build your empire, raise your army, research, explore, exterminate your enemy and all that good stuff. And the light component means that there is a probably less depth to it, but it also should be easier to get into that. And easy to learn, hard to master is kind of what they are going for. The setting is also very interesting as you have these floating islands in the sky and you have these medieval sailing boats which you use to travel between these islands and you have to build your, your cities on these floating things. So a yeah, very interesting scenario, a bit of a nice uh, new spin to the, to the genre I, I guess with all these like civilization on the one hand and uh, space stuff on the other hand. So yeah, interesting scenario. It's developed by a French studio of just two people who have been working on the game since 2017 already. And right now there's a Kickstarter campaign running. Uh, they want to gather 15,000 euros to basically to finish the game, to give it the last polish. My guess is that they will release the game regardless whether or not they will reach the goal. As you can see, they are not too successful with the campaign. But if you want to support it, you can pledge for the game for the minimum with 17 euros to get the game that might imply that the um, final price on steam will also be around that maybe 20 euros maybe 25 euros i don't know but that would be my guess of course if the campaign is not funded then it will also not be deducted from your bank account but yeah i guess that they will release the game anyways even if they will not reach the goal but it might not be then uh, that it's 2023. Uh, and if you want to, <laughs> if that's worth the risk to pledge it or not, and uh, if it's worth the price and whatever, I hope that I will bring some, well, a better picture <laughs> about uh, to help you make this decision with this preview a video where I will show you the demo version, which has been released during the Steam Next Fest and uh, to accompany this uh, Kickstarter campaign. So with that, let's just have a look into this demo version. And here we are in the main menu and you can see that we are greeted by this message that we have got 60 turns of gameplay during this demo version which has the version number 072 and I will not show you all the 60 turns but I will just show you a couple of the first ones because we got a lot of explain in the beginning and then a couple of later ones so just to show you a bit of the development. So first up we will have a look into the settings menu so that's not a whole lot and I hope that it will be expanded later on during development. Um, I did disable the scroll when mouse at edge because the end turn button is in the bottom right and was constantly touching like the edge of the screen and scrolling around so I disabled that and um, yeah with that we will start a new game and the first thing we need to do is uh, decide for a name and a logo and we will just go for the pirate pirates named yar and i will disable the tutorial and for some reason it's also deselecting the banner but um, probably just a cosmetical thing and let's start and you can see in the background this is going to be our capital city basically everything is on floating rocks and they are chained together for some reason our also our ma main enemy is called the chain or something and this will be the stuff we will see now um some intro text uh, it's not super interesting also you you kind of see that there are some remaining pixels here it's i it's a bit weird but there's not a lot of story to it i would say um so what you see now is basically the city screen in civilization 4 or before or civilization 5 i think civilization 6 is a bit different with the menus which can be opened and closed well, it doesn't matter so this is basically the city screen you can see we have three tiles of forest three tiles of wetland and a bunch of rocks and we need to decide where our well capital building is being placed and this building should be placed somewhere where we have i think i'm not 100 sure but i think we should have two spaces at least in the open space because each building has basically uh, or each capital has one free trade road spot and one free wharf spot and I think for these you need these open spots. I will place this in the forest 
because I want to build farms in this uh, region. So I disabled the tutorial. So now I will basically show you what, what's the best to do to be done here. So first up, let's first go over the interface. So we have the population on the um, top left and we can see like we have a total population of two, which you can also see down here. Like this is the unused population. We have the total population of two. We have in total, we have a living place for seven. Now the living place is a bit, maybe not so intuitive because usually we would assume that you need building. In. But in this case, you don't. Basically, population can live on all the fields which are not mountain. Like one field means one population can live there. And if you have these like paved tiles, um, there two population can live. So we have a total population um, maximum of seven at the moment. So we have six and one is paved, so it's seven. And we have two available population. Um, meaning that two population can still work and are not uh, used for anything you can also not have like three mines with only two population you always have to have the population to support the um, the next building you're going to build there is also the option if you have more people than you have um, a living space you can also get rid of them but i'm not sure what the reason for that is because they will just eat food and that's i don't see the point of that because if you would then get rid of them you would get even more food and get the population quicker again so yeah i don't see the point um then you have the production queue and i will go into more detail about that later it's a bit like in civilization as well but it does not have overflow but yeah i will go to into detail um later then we have the manage the shipments manage the deals and this is what i mentioned with the um, so they have outpost and you can see that there's one spot for trading and there's one spot for uh, this is a wharf and this is for trading I think wharf and one dock then you have the research screen and we will get into that in a bit and then we have the quests and we first get a quest that we should build a farm on our capital island so, so the capital island is the whole thing it's not just this small thing and we will get 50 gold coins for that and let's just do that so you have the production stuff in the bottom left i think it's the overview is not great here so you have to click on production then you have to click on exploitation and then you have to click on farm and then you place the farm somewhere here um i think it's not because in here for example you only have one option you have three options and here you have like this option and you have this option and then you click into that i think this should have been split up into these three things right away there's so much empty space on on in, on the screen here there's no point in putting that into these categories and by the way lots the feedback or well, the things i mentioned i'm criticizing here i also all wrote as feedback into the steam forums and the developers also um acknowledge that feedback at least and i'm not sure if they are going to change anything but <laughs> i would hope so so okay we started building this farm which takes 20 production to be built and we have 10 production per turn so you can see we have still one guy left after we built or we finish building this thing we have five houses for our um, dudes so uh, remaining houses we have 13 tiles of total real estate so that means we have these three these three and um, then like we should have uh, seven tiles here right and we have two food and that just means that we have some something remaining so that we will grow 10 production and these are goods and the goods are for trading to your colonies uh, and with these colonies you will generate money and overall um this this will be the main and the only city you're going to to manage so uh, while in civilization and this is like the world map in civilization you have like all these different cities and you have to manage all all them all of them like build all the buildings in every city and so on and in this game and that's where the light aspect comes in it's a bit reduced so that you only manage your main city and then you can build additional cities but they act as outposts and they will then support the main city so on this main map you see this um this section here this is called one um 
archipelago or whatever it's uh, I, I will call them bubble <laughs> so it's one bubble or one sun system if you want to, um, to compare it to mass of orion or something like that um, where you have different well where you can max like you can only have one city in one of these sections and this is basically if you compare it to mass of orion or other space games it's connected to other bubbles via these um these routes here we are these gates which you first have to unlock or you have to fight there and then you will reach the next bubble which is another region with one city and so on and the first thing we will do here is um, with our ship which is our military unit unit which basically consists of an actual ship and the people um, f being on that ship like you can see here on the top right that we have three guys or three regiments or whatever on that ship each of them contributes 10 attack power to the ship and the hit points are evenly distributed among them. So if we get damage, then every one of them gets damage. It's not like the one of them gets like all the damage and then dies and so on. But they are also costing money. So the ship itself costs 50 gold per turn and each of them costs 20 gold per turn. So it's quite a lot. And that's also the easiest way to ruin yourself is to to really spend a lot of money which will then uh, yeah cause problems and then your militia will be will be disbanded and so on so what can you do with the ship well you can of course just um, move around but you and you can fight and open these gates but you can also go um, research actually there are these research thingies here these um, globuses and you can you need to fight for them and a fight is very like easily done here it's not complicated it's just like this screen basically telling you that it's going to take two turns you will win and this is like the forces comparison and once you start you cannot stop it you cannot flee or anything else it also means that if an enemy attacks you you're probably screwed if you don't have the the adequate firepower so yeah this ship is basically locked now for two turns doing this fight for the research we did um assign some production in the capital and with that we can already move on to the next turn and you can see that all the menus i showed you in the city they are also available from here so you don't need to go into the city for every single thing and um uh, behind my video thingy you can see some uh, some things you can enable and disable on the map it's nothing huge so i will just keep them active um and of course the end turn button is as well uh, in the bottom right corner so second turn we got a new quest yes let's see the quest and this is a loot a lost secret and this is what we already started here we are still producing in the city and we are still looting or fighting for this research and with that we will just move on to the next turn so now we got the research and again we well not again but we finished the first quest and with that we will go to the research tree we have got mm, actually let's first go into this quest thing so here are the quests we've built the farm and rewards and we lost, uh, looted a lost secret. We got our 150 coins from that. And then we get the accept we, the next quest. These, um, we need to build a sawmill. And because we got the research, we can now go to the research screen. And at the very beginning, you can only choose one thing, which is that uh, your unit's getting healed in your own bubble. And you can see that it's going on further and it's probably like there's more after um, the third era but you will not reach that in the demo anyways so yeah we enabled healing and for now i'm not sure if there's any will be any other way for generating research right now all the research is basically done via fighting so we can move there now and do some more fighting and then we will get some additional research again and this will increase yeah like unlock our um, research tree thingies we have buildings like uh, library things or cartographers and they will basically 
also contribute to science but they will just unlock the new eras so you can see that for these you need two for this you need one and our palace already acts as one of these so the new quest we had was to build a sawmill so we will do that and have to place that in the forest so the farms only can go into the wetlands and the sawmills have to go here into the forest we built that this 20 production and we are at 10 production per turn so it takes two turns to build it and with that we finished the third turn let's move on and of course nothing happens in the, this turn because we are still producing and the ship is still fighting we go to the fifth turn now we got new research and but first we have, let's have a look into the quest so these are the notifications here pretty much like with civilization what you get displayed in the bottom right just that in this case um i mean unfortunately you cannot right click them that, so that they go away you have to open them and have to okay click on them have to okay if you want to get rid of them it's i think that should be changed um, because that's just taking too much time or you just keep them there which is also a bit annoying um we also finished the quest so let's have a look into the quests first um we built the sawmill and we got two new quests like this one where we need to get 15 citizens which we will take i mean you basically ta take all the quests there's no question um to take them but this quest is also interesting because there we get a tuck for free and a tuck is like this ship which we can also build ourselves and this is used to get additional land so now we only have these like 13 tiles but we can have a maximum tile count of 15 and so let's take another thing which is two tiles big like this and then we can attach it um, somewhere to our uh, empire thing so um, for example we can put it here and then we can expand into that thing as well all right yeah let's place it there and this will take a turn until it gets there and now we need to produce some more stuff um, we have one population left so we could produce a new an, another farm and let's just do that place it here so the farm takes 20 and we have 14 production so it's fine for one turn but then we will go into uh, some probably my biggest complaint about the game at the moment so the ship is uh, finished we're here with the exploration so let's try and fight for one of these spots we cannot go there at the moment we will just wait for now and we also have to do something else now so let's go to the next turn and um so we got a new quest or finished a quest and we accept the new one now we need to build a mine yeah this is then an issue because now we have 14 production and we ha only need six for the farm which means that we will already waste eight production and this is a big problem because of course this is getting more and more so you might have 30 production and you're only using six and the 20, 24 production would be wasted and in basically all the other 4x or recent well recent as in last 20 years 4x games you have basically have an overflow buffer and when you finish the farm like in this case then the ad production is stored in the overflow buffer and as soon as you build a new item then these eight production which are in the overflow buffer are applied to the item but in this game it's not the case so you basically always need to pay attention that your production queue is has more production left than what you are producing otherwise you will always lose and of course that's pretty bad so um unfortunately there isn't much we can produce at the moment we could produce militia however and this will help our ship so let's create some militia men um, which will help fighting that probably a bit a bit quicker let's just start with these two well, we'll probably need uh, another one then for the next one yeah let's just do these three um they will cost 20 per turn but all right so um, with the city we have now the product the militiamen uh, in our production queue we are producing the farm but as soon as we get new population in three turns we can also use that again all right 
And uh, with that, um, I mean, we could take another research thingy. We can increase the productivity, which of course um, we should do. And I should have probably done that before already. But this one is creating, um, that was a nice rock, um, additional bonuses. If we have two farms on this section, for example, then they will buff each other. So this will create four now. But as soon as we have this farm, um, they will both create four and then support each other with one and so in total create five each um, so you get a boost but these are not um, going over to additional um, areas so the wood for example or if if this was like also wetland and we had farms here they would not profit from that all right so we are now um producing these guys and with the ship we can't move the ship at the moment because we are producing these uh these units on the ship all right um with that and turn and um yeah we are still producing and you can see it's basically will not be i mean 14 production Will not be finished there we didn't get any new population so for now we can only wait all right and now two militia guys are ready there's eight um eight production is left for this one so uh, we need to or because we have new population we can now um build yet another thing and we will just create yet another farm over here we will put everything into uh, into food for now so that way we can we can grow quickly and we with growing quickly we have lots of population available and with lots of population being available we can also put the population um i well to use like into mines for example but we also can keep building buildings which is also essential because otherwise we would just waste production so the mechanic in that is really weird and i think they should definitely fix the overflow buffer all right so we are busy with producing stuff and we can go to the next turn and now we will move we are finished here so the ship is also unlocked and with that we can move over here and clear out this thing however now the farm is 14 we are 14 so we have one t one um, turn basically and after that turn we really need to think about what we produce because yeah there's not a whole lot we can do all right so next turn now they are done already um, and the production is done in the city all right let's have a look into the city but one thing which we can do is we can even without population we can pave these tiles and we will use some of our workforce to do that now um, this will also be used i think for a quest later on yeah we should create a mine we will do that later on now i just want to focus on growth and to use all of our production as efficiently as possible so yeah we cleared that thing and we will continue exploring into this new bubble and our ship is powerful enough that there shouldn't be any problem um and we go to the next turn and you can also see that we are losing 25 coins each turn all right so the um they need still 26 more but they got some additional population so we can now do the mine and finish that quest and that way we can also make use of the additional population we just got um so let's put a mine over there and we can also like change the order so that the mine is being done first and we keep exploring this new area and okay we found a city and uh, um, an enemy ship but we will first engage into the combat with the research to move forward on that regard we are still doing production here and so we can just move to the next turn um, you can see this bar is slowly filling up and once the heat level is filled up then the threat will increase 
And that means that um, the enemies will get stronger and um, every two threats, and the starting with two, we will get an, basically an enemy invasion coming to us. Okay, so we finished this exploration thing, we got some new research. And so let's increase the island max size um, or build lighthouses. Let's build lighthouses. Lighthouses are for quicker, for moving around more quickly. So you, we could build lighthouses here and then we wouldn't need to use two action points to go to these tiles. But instead we only use one action point. But um, we will now first, well, we could fight against that thing, but we will just uh, start with attacking the city. Ah. Yeah, let's do that. And then after that, we will probably engage in that. And I don't think that he can join the battle, so there are probably no threats. Um, yeah, well, we can just move over to the next turn. And so the next thing, uh, yes, quest is completed, which is the mine. Extend the city. Yes, we should use this. We'll build this paved square, which we're already doing. And we should build a tower. And if you are playing the tutorial, you have to build the tower. Because then you will get attacked by these enemies. Um, and yeah, I'm not... I think you, you cannot move forward without building the tower. But if you're doing a free game, you should not build a tower. Because, so all of these tiles here, you cannot create any additional city or anything on that. On your home bubble, you can only build like a hospital at the moment, which is increasing the healing rate for all units in, in this bubble. And you can build a tower, but you can see that a tower is costing 600 to build and it's costing 50 per turn. And this is a lot of money, so I would advise against building a tower that's really not worth it especially at the very beginning um, when there's no enemies anyways so just do not build any tower unless you really need it so uh, we are building this square i mean there's not much we can do at the moment we do have additional population now so we could also put some additional guys into a mine for example so let's just do that first um and with that we can gain a bit more money all right so yeah it's still engaged in combat and um yeah okay so this this guy is now on course to destroy our city but our city also has hit points it will not do it right away and next turn we are ready with our ship and we will just catch up and destroy that ship so it should not be any issue um we are still producing stuff the mine and um the paved thing so yeah you can always see where the enemy is heading with this route thing and we will just hunt them down all right so now the production is almost ready. We should already go into the city again and build the next thing. And because we still have two left, we can produce the next thing, which will be, let's say, um, a sawmill. Unfortunately, we will need to scrap that later on anyway. So you will need to pave all this, these tiles, I guess. Um, maybe not. I'm not 100% sure. Um, well, let's let's build a mine, and so we get a bit bit more money. All right. Uh, next turn. Now, yeah, the enemy is still going for our our thingy there, and we will not catch up with our ship. But that's not a big problem. We can. Um. We could build a lighthouse here, and then we probably have one lesser turn, which is... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's build the lighthouses here. And with that... No, just here, not here. And with that, we can have a quicker route into these directions. We could also build it here, actually. Um, let's wait, wait for a, a moment. So the mine is uh, using 16. We have a new quest because we well we finished this pavement we should now build a shipyard which also needs one population to produce 
All right, shipyard, which can only be pre built on these paved things. So let's build it over here. Shipyard. All right. And we give that priority over the mine. And um, yeah, lots of production to be done here. And with the ship, we can only follow, follow the enemy. All right. Um, actually, we need to click on the ship, all right? So, yeah, we will just destroy it. I think... Um, yeah, we were able to go here quicker now because of the um, light tower I just built there. So, yeah, it's fine. They are dead. Um, everything is saved. And with that, we have the shipyard. And now we can, well, we also have finished the quest here, build a shipyard, we get the new, build a set, um, settler ship, and that's the next thing we need to do. We go into the city again, and we build this settler ship. This will also take 48 production, and we will just finish the mine first, because it's not really a lot left, so we'll do that and get a lot, uh, not a lot, we get some additional money for that. And um, yeah, we just move on. We finish the uh, kill the enemy now. Yeah, it's dead. And now it might be a good idea to just stay here a bit so that they are healed up. Uh, I think they are also healed if we are over there. Uh, and then we continue exploring that region. Next turn. And we are already in turn 20, by the way. And now this bar filled up the like the first time, it's uh, over to threat 2 and now you can see that there is an enemy ship approaching. And um, I don't know how long it will take exactly, but it's probably like, I don't know, 10, 15 turns or so. And then it will arrive here in our city and we should probably try to kill it first. Maybe we can build some like towers there which, which will shoot. Or, uh, yeah, all that uh, nice stuff. Um, now the ship is still in production. This ship is still healing, so we will just wait. Um, 18 production. We still have to wait. They are still healing. All fine. I think that's enough healing. And now we will explore um, into this area. We will build a lighthouse here. And we can also build another lighthouse here. And that way the settlement ship is actually faster. So a lighthouse is basically meaning um, that there is a road, yeah, a ship road. And then they can move faster between these tiles. And now you can also see that we have more population than we are than we have housing. So we do have some um, we will get some homeless in four turns. Um, so we should expand our territory, but right now there's not much we can do about that. So, um, yeah, right now we are just... Oh, actually we need to produce something else because otherwise it would waste 10 points again. So, yeah, what can we do? What can we produce? Um, we can build another mine. We can... We could produce housing. Um, maybe pr just producing more like tiles would be nice, but that means that we would d need to destroy this sawmill. We will need to destroy it anyways, but just for the moment we will build like one over there. Yeah, and I mean we will just put the excess into the sawmill and then after that we will probably build another here and destroy that. And then we still need to destroy these later on. It's a bit weird, but that's how it, how it goes. All right, so we are exploring here, but we can't move anymore. And with that, just next turn. All right, so we have these lighthouses here. And now, in theory, you, uh, so you can see that this is all possible with one turn. Um, and with that, let's move over there. And we should probably, yeah just explore in that direction later on and we can also undock our settlement ship now and um, follow this path and because we have this light these lighthouses it's also rather quick over there all right and um, 
Quest is completed as well because we built the ship, we get a bit more money and now we have the quest to build a cartographer and for that we also need this paved tile. So yeah, at the moment we can just... Um, mm, 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 we need to create the sawmill first, so let's, before we... We do change anything there, we will just create another sawmill. And we continue. And over there, uh, there's just a treasure. That's fine, we will take it. We can also explore with our, like, settlement ship. So production is still... Uh, we are still already, like, to excess production. So we should do something else. We could create another settlement ship, for example. Settler ship. It's, yeah, you really have, I mean, settlement ship, you can just store them and use them for exploration. Which is probably not the intention of the developer, but this is, I mean, if you can't do anything else with your production, you might as well do that. Okay, so we get got a little bit of additional money, so it's time... Uh, ah, yeah, here is the... Um, here is the spot where we can create the city. I will go there in a bit. And with the production, they are working on a ship, but um, they, are f they also finish these sawmills now. And we can uh, erase that one, yes. And place another, like, um, paved thingy over there. So let's do that. And we will prefer to do that instead of this settler ship. We also do have uh, another um, guy there which can could work. So we could put him in a mine over there. Yeah, that should be fine. And yeah, we will be busy with producing stuff for quite a bit. Uh, let's put that to the bottom. Okay. All right. And now the next turn will be a bit more interesting again. So we will move over here. We found a new colony. And this new colony can then be transformed into exploitation colony, a defense colony, a trading colony. And um, first we need to do research for that though, and we don't have that yet. We need to go over to get that. So we first need to increase the max size and the, get the exploitation colony. Um, so for now yeah for the next couple of turns nothing too exciting will happen so i will just make a quick cut here and we will see when i am at that stage all right so it's just a little bit later and you can see that besides of this enemy there's also one guy approaching from from the south we did get the research and with that research we can actually unlock two things this island max size and the exploitation colony and that means that we can now turn this into an exploitation colony and that means that now we can improve these tiles and like builds well actually this takes a turn to do um so let's wait for that a bit i did in, uh did build like these additional lighthouses so that we are a bit more uh quick to navigate around our territory and we should probably try killing that ship here in the bottom and then move to defense against this uh, bigger threat. So I exchanged the, um, the mine for the cartographer. Actually, um, I think I... Yeah, that should be have, should have been there. I, sh I think I produced the sh settler ship by accident before. Uh, or started producing it. It's not a big issue, but still. Um, so we will try and kill that one. And then we need to be really quick to get back. However, the enemy will not destroy our city right away. So there's no big threat with that. So yeah, this one is now an exploitation colony. 
and you can see on the bot uh, on the top that you have these shipments now from this exploitation colony which is providing three food and five production over to our city so all the other cities you are building they are just colonies and they are infusing the stuff to the main colony and you can also expand them by um, building additional buildings here on the on the world map but of course they are very limited and you can only do, do one thing basically so if you want to expand these things you just can only build a sawmill or these like defense uh, thingies but we will just build a sawmill so you can only have one building on each tile um, besides of the lighthouse so we just built like a farm or sawmill everywhere. You cannot do that on, on your uh, home territory. And for that, oh, we still have money. All right. Okay, this takes two turns. We still have production and let's move over to the next turn. They are all finished here and we finished the quest, um, which is built a, built a cartographer. All right, and um, settler ship. The next settler ship is then being built. We do not have any excess uh, population at the moment, and um, we could, instead of the settler ship, we should probably build a tug ship so that we can expand our um, territory again on the capital thing. So yeah, this is being demolished now and um, we will see further once actually this is not taking that long. Yeah, we will see further once um, we are fighting here. So one second. So the enemy is close at our border now, but we also finish this ship now and we can add another shard to our territory, which we will do over here. No, we will not. Um, let me pick something else, maybe this one. Yes, let's pick that one because then we can make a connection over to the... from this tile, which we will demolish, over to the mountain. Um, because you can only put like these paved stuff between uh, next to each other. So we would need to demolish this one and then we would need to, to get it around to this corner. So yeah, it's a bit... It's a bit tricky on how you, you plan ahead with these things, but um, ah, and we need to produce something else. Um, we do have one more population, so we can just build another mine for now. And with that, uh, we could also um, actually increase the, the amount of troops here, but then the ship will not be able to move anymore. So we will do that next turn. Yeah, so incoming ship. And there's another incoming ship. Oh, okay. So here we will build... I'm not sure if the tower is actually helping much in that case. Um, we, do, we will build a tower here. We will... Um, yeah, this is costing money, of course. We will now produce some militia in the... Militia men on the ship, which will just be ready within the turn. And of course, we still... or we have even more production now available. I mean, we don't need them anymore because we also import production now. So, um, we are going to to demolish this sawmill now, yes, and we will place more of these paved squares. And with that, let's go to the next turn. And now the enemy is arriving. But our tu turret is also finished, the tower here. And this is also stronger now. They will move over to the city, but I guess that's fine. Um, maybe we should actually... Mm, I think this will hold up for quite a while. So let's fight this one. I'm not sure if the tower is actually doing anything. It's probably not. 
We can't go there. Actually, I will let him move to the city first so that I will be sure that the tower is attacking. Um, we have finished, comp uh, we finished a quest, which is the tower. Then we get exploration finished, archipelago finished, expand territory finished, exploration colony finished, network of lighthouses finished, trading colony, and that's the next thing we need to do. All right, so. Um, with production, we are producing a paved square over here now, that's fine. So not much more we can do at the moment over here. Um, so let's just... Well, we could... We do have the settler ship here already. We could just keep producing additional settler ships to get away to to use the excess production but um, besides of that it doesn't really have much of a use all right so the ship took damage and the city is burning i'm not sure what implications that has wolves and dogs are unable to operate okay that makes sense but we can now engage into combat and we will have a uh well it's quicker to destroy that now so we might have enough time to get over there. Of course, we could have built some towers and that might have been... I would need to destroy the farm. I will just keep it that way. And because we are producing these settler ships with all our excess production anyways, it's really not a big deal if they... Um, uh, if they destroy that thing. I'm not sure if like these farms and so on, they are demolished. That would then be a, a problem. Not sure about that. So the settler ship is being built with this 27 with the rest. That should be fine. Next turn. One turn and that's finished. So yeah, that's taking like 10, 10 turns until that is destroyed and we will be there and fight that ship until then. So everything is fine. The production um, queue is empty so we need to um, a bit something new we do have um, we can produce another mine all right and um, then maybe just build another paved square over here and with that let's go to the next turn Okay, enemy is done. They are still fighting. Yes, our ship is down at 50, but that's not a problem. And we are very quick getting there. So, let's move over there. Now we are regenerating. Paved square. 33. Mm, okay. We could build... How long until the next turn? In two. So we could build another mine over there but uh, yeah now i will uh, jump over to the next point when something interesting happens all right so we just got additional research from two spots here i also built another ship and uh, now we are conquering like the next zone takes three turns to get that but that's fine and we will explore here i already um, sent two of my settler ships on the way. I'm not sure what what X will exactly do with them, but um, they can also help exploring. They are created just with excess production, anyways. I'm now creating a tuck here, but yeah, okay, we also can, in theory, build another building here. But we already have um, pretty much everything, so we can build. Um, something on these paved things but we still need to do the research for that but we already got the points right so we can do or can increase them island max size again and we can also increase or uh, build a warehouse but we do want to build a trading colony next so that i can also show you that so um let's research the trading colony uh, allows to build factories on the capital island and there's a bit of an uh, interesting mechanic with these. So, um, all right, that's it on that regard. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. We 
should of course so i'm creating the tag now maybe we can already yeah we can produce the factory so if you want you can create a factory on any like paved square and these will produce goods for trading colonies and we will the next colony we will be found will be a trading colony so let's just build a factory well over there if we had the population to support that actually why don't we have that factory ah it actually costs two two people all right no problem we will just demolish this mine here we will build something else over there anyways um so the factory we can place over here and then we can also once the factory is built <clears throat> we can also put a foundry over on the hill on the mountain but that needs to be on the mountain and the factory needs to be on the paved square and you cannot pave the mountain so at least i don't think you can um yeah so um what you need to do is basically match these so that for example in such a tile in the corner you can put the foundry and then around that you can put a lot of factories all right so um that's this turn let's move forward of course the fighting will stay take a bit yeah they are getting in but that's not an issue we can do that with this ship um so we will destroy that yes and we use the settlement ships for exploration at the moment and maybe it's also a good idea to just destroy the towers if you don't need them because they will just create money loss i mean if they are costing 600 right so 12 turns of not fighting and um, that is good enough for just rebuilding them instead uh, and you will probably be better off just demolishing and rebuilding them all right which also is a bit of a weird mechanics and i think that should be changed as well so yeah we are creating this factory now and because we don't have anything else we can do at the moment we will just build another settler ship and um we did actually research the island max size so we can take another shard and let's take this one for example this is again forest i mean we don't have a lot of um yeah farmland here now but i think that's still the best choice here yeah let's just do that and then um we can also build something in here but right now we don't have the population to support it we will build the settler ship all right um a lot of fighting going on they are still taking a turn they are finished here so um they can move down we can build a lighthouse we do have the money for that another one over here and there's one automatically of course they still need to turn to be built so ah and there's a treasure all right but this is also the spot where we can found an, a new colony right um um no i'm not sure actually maybe it's over there uh okay let's see so production settler ship um they can't do anything else at the moment so let's just do that yeah that's all fine they will then move over to the city Mhm. Mm we did finish a quest again which is the population all right and the trading colony we are still working on we did demolish the city here now so i need to move away my battleship thing and then i will move in with my settler found a new colony and now i can turn that into a trading colony all right and um, that ship should heal we do need to go back 
um, into this. Yeah, we have one population again. So with that one pop, we can build this foundry over there. And that will boost this factory on this spot. And then we can build two more factories over there. But it only makes sense if you have more trading colonies, which we don't. And with that, you get tons of money. But uh, yeah, we don't have that at the moment. And uh, let's just see where we are getting now. So next turn and we did finish the quest for this trading colony and with that we are basically through with all the mechanics on the demo I guess. I mean we could in theory unlock more research um, over here. There's a little bit more but then you would need to go out further with explore, uh, exploration and we only have 10 turns left. We are involved in fighting over there, we are involved in fighting over there. We could potentially go found one more colony, but I don't think that we can do much more. Um, we can also create villages here now because that's a trading company, a uh, trading colony, and yeah, they have villages instead of this farmland. So in that regard, it might might be a bit more of the um, like feel like an uh, um, a board game. Um, I want to click on that thing, which I can't. All right, that's a bit weird. Um, all right, build a village, lighthouse. All right, next turn. And you can also see that there are these sh little ships um, going around. This is our exploitation colony this is our trading colony they are finished here so let's move over to this thing and destroy that as well they are still fighting and yeah the production i didn't pay attention to that i should have put something else in here but uh yeah this is now supporting the factory it's actually creating 50 gold for each adjacent factory. That's not too bad. And um, yeah, we are just swimming in gold at the moment. And we do have these uh, homeless uh, people now over us levitating on their own little rock over there. Uh, all right, let's undock with this new uh, ship, which I just produced out of... Um, well, excess production. <laughs> and um, I don't think we can produce anything useful at this time. We can just build these squares here. Uh, must be placed to another. Okay, that's fine. They are fighting. Let's move over to turn 52. And they are finished with that battle. They are finished with that battle. They will explore down there. And there's a bit more research. We can have a look at that. Might have not be the brightest idea because there's an enemy. All right. And the settlement ship can only wait for, mo for the moment. The production for the paved square is almost complete, but they can't do much more. So, because, I mean, I could build, just build another settlement ship, but I could also, no, I can't, I can't do anything else. So just, let's build another settlement ship. Next turn. They will now move over down there. They are still busy and they are also busy with the settler. Next turn. So this is a 50 strength. So our ship will not be able to do that. So we need to heal first. Go back to the own territory. Of course, we could also exchange this these militia men with other units. But we at the moment, we don't have the research. We could buy it though. So we could build a training camp. And that way we could... Um, build more sophisticated units. We can also increase our the speed we are moving at and uh, we can build a storehouse. Um, well, let's increase the ship movement for now. That one will be healed. We can also build um, 
a hospital here so that we are increasing the healing rate. I'm not sure if that's really worth it for the last six remaining turns, but that's fine. Let's just see what we can do in this remaining time. And the settler ship is finished in just one turn, so we need to build something else already. Let's place another paved tile over there. 55. Finished combat down there. And there's another village destroying the lair. Yeah, you can could see that this back then was a faction, I think. And this is just uh, basically empty, empty territory. Yeah, I could try to get that, but the time will not be enough anymore. So I will just unlock a couple of things, maybe. Um, they are healed up over there. We need to produce something else. But there isn't much we can produce, except of settlement <laughs> settler ships. I got, can just like put a lot of settler ships in this queue, so I don't need to bother with that anymore. All right. Mm -hmm. Of course, I could also um, I could have increased the firepower on that ship. No, maybe not. Um, that would have been too much. Maybe we can still get another settlement out of that. They are finished. <laughs> and let's just try that as well. Because we can. And we got some more research. We can build a storehouse. We can build uh, health of all colonies. So we have the ship movement. Let's just go for the military stuff here. Alright, finished. And with that, um, we are fighting there. We will fight here. We only have three turns remaining. Ah, there's another enemy approaching. Okay, so we will not fight against them. We will just do another bit of research over there. Um, let's check here. We got one additional population. So we could build a farm here now and put that in the front. And... Now we are moving over to turn 58. We are not attacked by them. We did... Ah, Venice. This is where we... Could be uh, another city. Let's take this as well. Production of that thing is ready. You covered the ruins of Sci a Science Academy. Once restored, will boost all galleons. Ah, oh, that's nice. Okay, I didn't see... Anything like that before, but we will not be able to finish that within the limits of this demo. But you can also see that the threat level is going to increase to 4 again in the last turn, basically. We got a bit more of science, so we could, like, take this, for example, which is not working every time. Yeah. Alright, and we are still fighting there, okay. We got some coins. Ah, let's just do that. Fight as well. Okay. Production. We will just keep producing settler, settler ships now. But with that, we reached level 60. Uh, turn 60. We got a new attack. But that's it. Thank you for playing. And with that, we finished the demo and I hope I was able to show you and explain everything you can, well, find in the demo so far, in the game so far. Of course, we only saw a faction, a fraction of the map and um, yeah, there will be a lot more to explore the game. I think the developer mentioned six hours or so is the aim for one, for one complete session. Um, overall, I think it's a nice nice well let me go back to the main menu and to the nicer the music might get a bit boring i think in the game the main menu is a nice change um so the issues i see here i mean the interface things are more like nice to have the overflow thing is something which makes it 
a very well it it spreads extremely between people who have no idea how to play and people who are more experienced there will be a huge gap and it will be very hard to balance between in in between these because this is such a big advantage to have this overflow used all the time and to be aware that you always have to use the overflow so that's a big thing which definitely needs to change um besides of that um I think the overall setting and so on is quite cool, but I'm not sure about the um, how dynamic the game is and how replayable it is. I can imagine that you might want to replay it a couple of times, like two, three times. But I think with the different factions and um, like you have these, I don't know, the English guys, Romans, the Babylonians and whatever in Civilization, you have more of uh, different scenarios which uh, like this narrative gameplay basically, which is not as much the case here. And I think that after three games or so, the addition and one additional game will probably look very much the same as the previous ones. Also because, you, I mean, you do have a lot of choices but they are also kind of samey choices they are not vastly different and offering completely new play styles at least from what i can judge so far after this one hour but um yeah i think there might be kind of a limitation on how replayable the game is after a couple of times so it's certainly not as re replayable with hundreds of hours with civilization but then again the game costs if you want to support it on kickstarter seven euro 17 euros on kickstarter and i imagine that it will also be like 20 or 25 euros or so on steam which of course is much less than the i think 60 euros or so you had to pay when civilization was just released of course now you can get Civilization 5 for free often and Civilization 5 still has of course more range of stuff to offer so um, but it is a nice new setting and yeah that's also one thing um, which is very different here of course you don't have multiplayer and this is a kind of very Civilization is even if it has a lot of flaws and especially civilization 5 with these mechanics with the um, monuments and the stuff you can collect for the museums it has a kind of game mechanics which only work for the player not for the computer this game here myriads is very much focused on the player it is not um, having a symmetrical setup where basically you have 10 factions which are pretty much having the same condition conditions besides of uh, the AI cheating and having some mechanics which it can't use and so on but myriads very much has this asymmetric system where you have this big enemy and you are the one empire and you have to fight against this big enemy so it's more yeah it's it's a bit of a different setup it is not directly comparable to these to these other ones i think there's a other one uh other game like against rome or something like that um where, where it's also a bit of that setup where you're playing some germanic empire i think and you have to play against you fight against the big romans and uh, that might be a bit more like what this is aiming for in any case, I hope that you enjoyed this preview and you got a good overview of that. And uh, with that, I thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.